So I'm back with another DIY project. The last few days I've been videoing hedgehogs and mice at night time and I've been getting down to their level and I can't use my big tripod because it's got a centre column on it. So I've been trying to put the camera on the ground but because the camera body and lens aren't at the same height it sort of tipples over. So what I've decided to do was well, I did Google it first. The first result on Amazon was £70 and there's a tripod that opened up fully. But it didn't come with a ball head, so you're just paying for like a flat tripod. So I figured I may as well just get a piece of wood out of the scrap bit, drill a hole into it, stick a ball head here, and then I'm going to get pretty much the same thing for none of the price. You can see the problem I had a little bit better here. because so I had the camera here and then you can see the little bit of wobble there. So what I had to do was balance some rocks underneath the back of the lens to balance out the body. And then I could still manually focus it. It actually worked surprisingly well, but it wasn't ideal because when the mouse went from front right to front left, it was hard to move it around, but hopefully this solution will fix that. So I think it's going to be better if the ball head goes sort of three quarters of the way up and then because most of the weight is going to be at this end it should balance out. At least that's what I think is going to happen. We'll go about there. I need a bigger hole actually, unless I can persuade this through. No, we need a bigger hole. There we go. So, I think it'd be good if that is buried like inside the wood. So we need to carve out a little groove. So I didn't have any drill bits big enough for like um, marking out that circle bit. So I've just gone round it with that drill bit that I had and made a groove that's almost big enough to fit that in. I need to go about another millimetre and then you won't be able to see the top of it. And then we just need to put the ball head on top of this. It actually looks neater than I expected. It still looks pretty horrendous but for the amount of time it's taken me to do this, I don't think that's bad. So we'll just go a little bit deeper and then move on to the next bit. I think we're good. I've got an angle grinder in there. There we go. Now all we need to do is test it out. So I just brought it down the field to test it out. I've got a swan down here and it's quite easy to set up so we can level it with the ball joint. I'll do a little bit of video on it so you can see how steady it is. So that's all you have to do. I think for the 20 minutes it took to make this, that's not bad. It just helps you get level with the animals. So we're sort of looking up at this swan now and it's easy to change focus. So I'm pretty happy with that. Probably do some fine tuning with it over the next few weeks. Um, might counter sink the ball joint into the 
into the bit of wood so it's even more secure but it feels like it will be steady the problem i was having last night was having a steady base for twisting the focus ring so now it's solid on there it's easy to just turn but i'm hoping to get more video of the hedgehog and mice tonight so there's going to be a video of that soon i'm just working out how to put it all together but make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see that and any more of these diy bits i'm not too sure why you like this kind of thing it's kind of a bodge job but i sort of just make stuff for the problems that i've got and it's not a 70 pound problem to me because i might never use it again um, this has only taken me 20 minutes of my time and just seems like a better investment really but hopefully you got something from it it's not the finest woodwork you'll ever see but i never claimed it would be but i hope you like the video and i'll see you next time